The milk you drink is very likely pasteurized. Now, before the introduction of pasteurization in the mid 1900s, milk was consumed in its raw, um, unprocessed form. Now these days, raw milk advocates are arguing that it has superior health and nutritional benefits and that the pasteurization process eliminates some of these advantages. So in this video, I'm gonna look at the research. So to clarify, raw milk has not been pasteurized or homogenized. Pasteurization involves heating milk to kill bacteria, yeasts, and molds. The process also increases the product's shelf life. Now the most common method used all over the world, including you know, the US, UK, Australia, and Canada, involves heating raw milk to 161.6 degrees Fahrenheit, or 72 degrees Celsius for 15 to 40 seconds. This keeps milk fresh for two to three weeks, um, pasteurized milk is often also homogenized, which is a process of applying extreme pressure to disperse the fatty acids more evenly and it improves the appearance and the taste. Claim number one, pasteurized milk has fewer nutrients. So raw milk advocates claim that uh, raw milk is better than pasteurized milk across the board. Now in particular, that it has much more nutrients. An extensive meta-analysis of 40 studies found only minor losses of the water-soluble B vitamins and vitamin C from pasteurization. Now, considering the already really low levels of these nutrients in milk, these losses uh, are you know, biologically insignificant. It's kind of like if you had $1,000 in nutrients and you lost 10 cents of it, it really makes no difference. Levels of the fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K um, only decrease very modestly as well, and calcium and phosphorus didn't increase, and they're really important for bone health. Claim two. Pasteurizing milk destroys proteins. 80% of milk protein is casein, and casein is heat stable. Pasteurization does not reduce levels of casein. One study in 25 healthy people drinking either raw pasteurized or UHT milk for a week found that the proteins from pasteurized milk had the same biological activity in the body as raw milk proteins. Interestingly, milk exposed to ultra high temperatures, known as UHT milk, increased protein nitrogen uptake by around 8%, meaning that the protein was better used by the body. So if anything, it's UHT milk that has the advantage. Claim three, raw milk is better for people with lactose intolerance. Raw and pasteurized milk contain the same amount of lactose. Now the theory was that raw milk contained more uh, lactobacillus, which in theory should help improve the digestion of raw milk drinkers. However, in a blinded study, 16 adults with self-reported lactose intolerance uh, drank raw, pasteurized, or soy milk for three eight-day periods in randomized order um, separated by one-week washout periods. Now, researchers found that raw milk failed to reduce lactose malabsorption or lactose intolerance symptoms compared with pasteurized milk among adults who were positive for lactose malabsorption. There's also a claim that raw milk is better for asthma risk and allergies, but it's hard to say as the studies are observational. For example, it appears that those who drink raw milk who live on farms have lower asthma rates, but is it the raw milk that helps or the fact they live on farms with increased exposure to microbes? What are the dangers of drinking raw milk? Due to its neutral pH and high nutrient and water content, raw milk is a feeding ground for bacteria. Milk essentially comes from a sterile environment within the animal. From the moment the animal is milked, the potential for contamination begins with the udder, skin, uh, feces, milking equipment, handling, uh, and storage. The majority, but not necessarily all, bacteria are destroyed during pasteurization. The ones that survive mostly do so in a damaged, non-viable form. Keeping milk refrigerated helps suppress bacterial growth, no matter if it's raw or pasteurized. Studies show that raw milk contains significantly higher quantities of harmful and introduced bacteria than pasteurized milk. Unsurprisingly, between 1993 and 2006, 121 foodborne outbreaks in the US were from raw dairy, including milk and cheese. Now, of the milk-only outbreaks, 82% were from raw milk compared to 18% from pasteurized. More recent data has shown that raw milk or cheese causes 840 times more illnesses and 45 times more hospitalizations than pasteurized dairy. Because of these very real dangers, the consumption of raw milk is prohibited in many countries, including Australia, Canada, and Scotland. Now, in the US, uh, it's still banned in 20 states. The states that do allow it um, have a restriction on its sales. As you can see, given that raw milk is comparable in favorable nutrients compared to pasteurized milk, and doesn't have any clear health benefits, yet is clearly much more dangerous to consume, it doesn't make any sense 
to drink raw milk over pasteurized milk. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative. Don't forget to subscribe to Healthline's Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video.